Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I'm going to be giving you kind of like a little tour of my whole perfume collection. Um, I've been, I've had a couple people ask recently, it might have been the same person asking twice, but I don't think so. I think it's been um, a, maybe two or three different people now that have asked to see a full collection video. Um, I do have, I usually do a full collection video each year. So you can kind of see how my collection um, changes and you know, over the, you know, over the years or whatever. Um, I had not planned on doing one in this house though, because we are in a very small 800 square foot um, Airbnb and I have no space. I film in a tiny little corner of our living room. Um, my perfume collection is basically in and around this, the hutch that used to be behind me, like in my old videos. Um, it's very, very cramped for space. This is why I'm not buying many full bottles of perfume at this point. You guys will see why. Everything is a little bit dusty because it's really hard. Like I, to be able to move all of my perfumes to like dust uh, is really, really difficult. Well, you guys will just see, just don't judge because I, it's really, really cramped. And if you're somebody that gets really, um, if you really, really don't like clutter or, um, you know, Disorgan disorganization, then definitely click off. This one's not for you because everything is dis. Well, it's controlled chaos. I know where everything is, kind of, um, but you'll see. Let's get in there. Okay, so this is kind of an overview of where everything is. Do not mind the piled up blankets and pillows and my daughter's little mask thing in the corner. Um, yeah, we're just... <laughs> We're so cluttered up right now, but this is basically my entire perfume collection um, And I'll go through all of these things kind of individually. So we'll start with the top here um, Try and not make a shadow. I don't think there's any way to So in the front here right here This is where I keep like big decants and oils that I wear a lot um, I'll show you where the rest of my oils are in a second, but if it's an oil that I use a lot, like I reach for it a ton, I keep them out up here. Um, these are like all my Estero oils, and then these are just some Kumba Maid, some Neem Mat, um, some oil perf perfumery, um, some of my sweet essentials, like you can see an Andromeda's Moon Decant, um, and then some, some travel sprays and some different things. Um, See if I can get a little bit closer. Moving to the back here, this is my Riddle Oil, um, Riddle Oils, what do you call it? Spray lotion in original. These are my two, my only two full bottles of Guerlain, like the Arts and Materials collection. They both came from the same person when I bought. Um, one I bought once she's one she sent me. And then these are special perfumes that I keep in their boxes. This is Sacred Wood from Killian. This is Zoology B. This is just the box for one of these Guerlains. Um, this I keep up here. This was sent over to me. I keep everything that you guys send me. Um, I love it. I haven't tried this one yet though. I need to. Um, this is an oil that was sent over. This is just a little thing that Charlotte made when she was like two. Um, over here, this is my Untamed collection right here. The, this is one of my favorite houses of all time. I absolutely love Untamed. They have a place of honor <laughs> right here. They're like right up front, so I can easily get to them. These are oils that were sent over from a beautiful subscriber. I absolutely love every single one of these oils. They're from a brand called Japara. Um, and yeah, I love them. This is the solid perfume that was sent over. I don't know why it got so dark. There we go. Um, that's a solid perfume that somebody sent that is a coach perfume that beautiful Jacqueline gave me. Um, and then yeah, here are, these are just perfume. These are just perfumes. So I'm just going to kind of slowly pan over so you guys can see. It's so, everything is so cluttered together though. It's really, really difficult for me. Like it's really hard. When I have to pull perfume, perfumes for videos, 
I have a really hard time. Um, these are all philosophy. I try to keep, I'm, I've been trying to keep everything like grouped together in a way that makes sense. So all my philosophy, philosophy perfumes are together. Um, I've got some Hermes together, but those aren't all my Hermes. That's just, I don't even know what my method is. Um, yeah, some perfumes that I use a ton, like my Sultan Or, which is one of my favorite perfumes of all time, stays on the front because I use it so much. Um, Women's Secret on oh My Secret, that stays in the front because I use it so much. That Dossier Oriental Brown Sugar, which is YSL Montpourri. <clears throat> Montpourri, that stays in the front. I love it. Um, and then these are all of my Dreamhouse at Curio fragrances. Also kind of in a place of honor. They're like right in the middle, so they're easy to find. I never have to look for anything. They're just right there. Um, we've got some celebrity scents in the back. We've got some Stella McCartney. Um, we've got some vintage stuff back there. We've got just a bunch of stuff. We've got some CJ scents in the front. Um, some travel sprays, some CJ scents in the front there. Some um, Elizabeth and James. Some of my Elizabeth Arden. Um, Mercedes-Benz Club Black. Everything that's out on the top, this is stuff that I reach for kind of a lot. This is one that I just pulled out recently because I need to wear this. This came, I want to say it was this past winter. Yeah, this came, I want to say this past winter, but this was more of a warm weather fragrance to me, so I pulled it out. This is Ormond Jane um, Gatsby 22, I think is what it's called, and I really need to, to give that a good wear in the heat. Um, I've got a bunch of my La Perla fragrances up here. They're so good. Um, I've just got random, just, you know, perfume everywhere, really. Um, and then this back corner here, this is kind of my vanilla corner. I try to keep most of my vanillas, like right here, accessible because I use vanillas so often. Okay, so if we come back over here, this little box right here, this is uh, perfumes that I've got for sale, as well as decanting supplies. And then, um, and then this little box here. And then this little box here. These are, those are all of my mini perfumes. So just like a random box of minis. And then this big bin right here, this is decants and samples. Um, just, I've tried to divide or to like organize them in some way. Um, so I've got all of my genre samples here, um, all of my Andromeda's Moon here, and then things that people have sent me. So this is all um, bond number nine. And yeah, it's just let me know if you guys want a whole video just going through this because I could do a whole video just on this box. I've got so, I've got so much stuff. Okay, and then down here, this is a beautiful note that came to me from a lovely subscriber. Um, these are all travel sprays. Again, let me know if you want me to go through this. I think I have at some point, but I can do an updated video. All travel sprays. So this box is all travel sprays in the twist up decants. So travel sprays, but twisty decant travel sprays. Um, these are all oils. I've got so many freaking oils, so many oils. These are all the oils that are put away too, not even left up on my, I've got all of those oils. And then of course I've got all of these oils up here. Okay. This, I'm not gonna really open this, I'll just show you guys. This is a little Tupperware full of decants of perfumes that I've had and sold and decanted before I sold them. I don't do that anymore. 
um, because usually if I'm selling something, it's because I don't really like it, so I don't need a decant of it. Um, this is my this is my project pan box. Not doing so hot with this one. <laughs> I think this is going to be the last year I actually do a project pan because I found that I don't. I just don't do it. I'm always focused on something, testing something, the new things that are coming out. I just I don't have time to like wear wear my project pans. Okay, this. <laughs> This is a box full of stuff, smelly mail that was sent, plus um, samples and things that I have ordered um, that I haven't gotten around to testing yet. Okay, this is my crate full of body lotion and body spray. You can see this thing is slam full. Um, yeah, it's these are that's the big. That's a big bag full of all my Luxador oils that I just haven't had a chance to get put up anywhere. Um, that pile right there, this is so ridiculous. That pile right there is a pile of fragrances and candles and things that I want to use and I want to do something with. So I keep them there because Anytime I get something new like that body spray, like this body spray that's sitting right in the front. My beautiful friend Jacqueline bought this for me when I went to Georgia to see her. Um, so yeah, anytime I get something new, I'll bring it home and I'll put it in this pile and um, it'll stay there until I use it. And then once I use that body spray, it'll go into the bin right there so that you know, I've used it. Um, you, I don't know if you can see right under there, right there. That's a little box of Penhaligon's minis that I love. Um, okay, and then over here, that cardboard box on the bottom is full of skincare and hair care. Um, this is all lip products, even though this is a perfume video, but I may as well show you. This is kind of like this pile next to me. This is a pile, but for small stuff. So things that I still need to work on and test, but small. So I keep them contained right here. Um, this is a box full of Dreamhouse Securio samples. That's where I keep all my Dreamhouse samples. Um, this is all Coco Pink that I'm kind of revisiting Coco Pink. This is just a whole bunch of samples and stuff that's been sent to me and oils and just all kinds of stuff. My husband usually has a charger that comes over this. That's why a lot of this stuff gets knocked down. But yeah, it's just a bunch of stuff that I need to wear. And then back here is, these are all bags of samples and things. So these are all like discovery kits. These are all carded samples. These are all like loose samples, more carded samples, um, and samples that are like in boxes and things. So I know that's probably, that's probably hard to see, but yeah, those are samples, all kinds of samples. Over here, those are all my essential oils. I use essential oils for like health and wellness and um, you know, all kinds of various stuff over around the house. Okay, and then inside the hutch. Okay, and then this is inside the hutch. So, um, kind of like with the top, same goes for the inside. I try to keep everything at least organized in a, in a way that I can find things. So most of this on top is all Guerlain. Got my Comptoir Sud Pacifique there. I've got some Moscata back there. Um, this is all Dua. This is all Lush. I've got some Stella McCartney. This is all Burberry right here. This is all Mugler right in here. Got some Manifesto, some Hermes, some Celebrity Scents back there. Um, and then on the bottom here, we have got some celebrity scents in the back. 
This is mostly all Dior right here. I've got some Zara right here. Um, but yeah, this is all kind of random, but most of this shelf is Dior. I've got a ton of Dior in there. But yeah, so that's the bottom shelf. Moving over to this side. This side is not as exciting as the other side. Um, this, I've got a bunch of dossier right here. I've got some Armani. Um, this, this is much more random. I've got all my Chloe's here. I've got my Gallagher fragrances here. Juicy Couture in the back. Um, Britney Spears kind of in the back in the middle there. I've got some Laura Mercier right there, some Lalique back there. This is much more random. I've got some Toka in the front, Fresh. All of my Meleg fragrances right there. So I try really hard to keep to keep some semblance of organization in the craziness. Okay, down here we've got some Ariana Grande over here. Right here we've got, this is random, we've got some Prada, um, M. Mikalev right there. We've got some Etat Libre d'Orange, um, some Azaro, Dolce & Gabbana. They're all of my um, Kesherelle Yes I Am fragrances. Um, and then just a bunch of random stuff. I've got a juicy bottle down there that needs to be moved up to the top with the rest of the juicy, um, some oils, but yeah, this is, this side is much more random. It's not as nicely organized as the other side, but yeah, so I will stand back and give you kind of an overview again. So that is my huge super messy, unorganized perfume collection. Um, when we get someplace and my husband builds me a whole building just for my YouTube stuff, he's gonna build me like floor to ceiling shelves to store all of my perfume and things on. So I can't wait for that. But yeah, that is my perfume collection. I do, let me know if there's any like, you know, if there's any part of the, my collection that you want me to do a whole video on, I would be happy to. Even any of the like samples and things that I've got over there, just let me know if you guys are interested in seeing any of that. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.